Hey there, thanks for tuning into Duck Bricks. I'm Chris and welcome to Lego Mini Reviews, the show where I review a ton of different Lego vintage and new sets right here on the Duck Bricks YouTube channel in a short form format. So I have a ton of Bricklink orders to get through as well as just associated Lego purchases and I figured instead of making a mega video where I go through every single one that's hours long, why not break it up into separate mini reviews? And so in addition to our normal three videos a week schedule, be be sure to stay tuned for a mini review dropping every single day where we do not normally have a standard video releasing. I hope you enjoy and let's jump right into our first pick. Next up. Today we'll be taking a look at one of the Bricklink AFOL Designer program sets. So what exactly are these? Well back in 2019 before LEGO actually bought Bricklink, they partnered with the company to produce some sets designed specifically by AFOLs using a variety of different pieces that were available to them. These sets had a very limited release and essentially were crowdfunded, were pretty much only available to purchase on Bricklink despite being official LEGO sets, and they had a very limited run which makes them incredibly rare. Each of the boxes is really nicely done with a special golden sticker that showcases the title of the set as well as its designer, but in addition to that, it also always has a wraparound sleeve for each box to allow you to display the set against a backdrop that fits it, which is really nice. Now, of course, on the back here, you can see that the AFOL Designer program has some details listed on the back. You can learn more about it on Bricklink. And every single one also came with an exclusive 2x4 Technic brick with axle holes through them, which debuted in 2019, with a special print of 60 years of the brick on them, which is a really cool exclusive piece to get. This was the only special piece LEGO produced for each of these sets, which makes these some of the most interesting and rarest LEGO sets out there. Nowadays, the value of these sets have skyrocketed, which is why I'm so happy to be able to bring some reviews to all of you. This right here is the fire truck. It's the classic antique fire truck designed by Boone Langston, who you may know from Lego Masters. It's actually really big. This was surprisingly a large model. It's a little hard to tell the scale of just by looking at it right here, but let's get a Lego minifig here, for example. Here's a random Lego minifig I just grabbed that was nearby, and you can see the scale here. It's actually really, really big compared to the size of just a single minifigure. He only barely goes up to right about half the wheel here. So it's a huge model. I'm a really big fan of the way that this one turned out. And this is just a really detailed Lego engine that truly feels like it belongs in the creator expert vehicle lineup. Now, of course, while building this model, much like many of the other AFOL design models, there were a few moments where there were just some strange little things that I knew that Lego designers would never actually do. Just a few things that maybe didn't make it the most solid of builds or just a few different part connections that felt a little bit awkward to me. But for the most part, this truly kind of felt the most like building a standard Lego set. It has a lot of detail, including this removable ladder here, so you can really just use the ladder as a normal ladder. It definitely is a much larger scale for minifigs. Maybe the larger size Technic figures are good for this that were released back in the day, but all in all, it's a really nicely detailed fire engine. What I really like is that you can lift this up and see the inside for the interior detail of the engine as well. They did not need to include these, but they definitely did just to add that extra bit of detail very similarly to the other Creator Expert cars, which similarly have engines kind of just tucked away and hidden. Moving onwards to the back here, it is pretty empty around the back. This was probably the most tedious part of the build, just kind of layering down different tiles. Lego probably would not do this in an official set, but I do actually appreciate the amount of variability that we get in the tiles here. Really just makes it feel that much more realistic. And all in all, this is definitely one of the best designed Lego AFOL designer program models, especially if you're into large scale cars, this is a model for you. All right, and with that, we have summed up this mini LEGO review. Thank you all so much for tuning in, and do let me know down in the comments below what do you think of this set. Do you like it? Do you dislike it? And if you own it, what have been your experiences with building and playing with the set itself? Also, let me know in the comments if you like this format of mini reviews. I'm trying to put them out on a fairly regular basis. So thank you so much for tuning in, and I'll talk to you again very soon. Like and subscribe for even more LEGO news, reviews, discussion, and analyses coming your way very, very soon.